my garter bark. It is made with hair pins between two pieces of wood. This was given to me. I'm planning on doing four rows of the garter stitch. I line my garter bark up to my needles and push with my other guard bar. I have two of them. Push with my other guard bar. Bring my guard bar forward to rest in the hooks of my needles. Push my guard bar back. Sometimes you can just push it off the needles. Now my, my stitches are on the guard bar. I pull the guard bar out, holding the needles in place. I make sure my latches are open. I take it off. Then I rotate it and flip it. Now, I could line it up and try to get the stitch onto the needle. I found this is the easy way of doing it. Holding the working, call this the working garter bar. Excuse me. Holding the working bar in my right hand, the second garter bar in the left hand. I am lining my pins up so that they're right on top with the empty one under underneath. And then I will just gently push the stitches from one bar to the other so they stay on the channel. Okay, now I've got two in right there. I don't know if you can see it mess. But they didn't transfer this one wasn't working. So you just grab it. You want to hold. It's going to take the, see how it undid that stitch. That's not a problem. Just pull it so it's, I'm doing real slow. So we want to take the one stitch off. With this one, you got to go into the loop. You need to separate a little bit. Go into the loop. You want to grab this piece. So you're going to go into there. And use the other the latch hook. It's a lot easier. Get this one in. bottom loop as you're looking at it. And you're trying to create the stitch as you did. So just pull this one up and open. stitches back on. If I pull my needles all the way forward, slide my carriage over to the opposite side, and then rehang my stitches. And I let the garter bar rest into the now see how I need that needle not to move. I'm going to take my other garter bar, put it behind the stitches, and just hold it in place. I'll show you how I'll pull that in just a second. See now I take that one. See how I'm holding that one with that one? It's one fits between the, the needles. So if so I push it back, it'll stop. See? And that's how you do the row. That's one row. And then you want to narrow. Line up 
Bugarda bar. Push your needles out. Push needles back so that the stitches go onto the garter bar. Pull the needles out. This is one I usually slide single because then it's on my way. Flip my work. Line my second garter bar up. And slide the work down. You want to try to make sure you're only picking up one loop. So I see two loops here. So I don't want to make sure I don't grab more than the one loop. And you get that when the, the needles aren't completely lined up. So sometimes you have to push the needle down. Okay, I got one needle on each. Then I pull it off. Then I look to make sure I've got the needles. I think that's about as close as I can get. And then you hang the work back. And if the latches are not open, just use whatever tool you use. I use this tool. What this is, it's for pottery shaping the clay. Really good for this. And just move the needles, the live stitches back on the needles. You can hold them if you just got a few to slide them on. See so I'm missing a strand over here. And slide everything back. Now that is my second row. Now if you've got your counter on, and since I want to do four rows, my counter will actually reach eight. So I load up, thread my carriage, move across. Move the work. Pull the needles out all the way. I forgot to make sure the needles are open. Which this can happen at any 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 time when you want. Slide my work over, flip, turn, flip, whichever terminology you want. Transfer from one bar to the other. You want to make sure that the empty one comes up from underneath. Slide it onto the other bar. Making sure you only got one needle. And then put it back on the machine. Now a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set my bar down here and I'll hold it while I'm flipping it. Now I do have pressure on my bar so that it doesn't come off the needles. And then I just pull the bar backwards. So I got a nice little garter stitch going on. And push it back. Bring my carriage back into play. Load it. Get your row. 
Now you don't have to necessarily use the other garter bar to remove it because you can use any straight stitch, any straight stick rather. Pop it off, pull it out, open the latches, remove the work, unthread the carriage, slide across, flip the work, pick up the other bar, transfer the work. I mean, it doesn't have to line up exactly, meaning like that. You just have to find a spot that you can transfer the work over. Because you do just want to grab, so you can see it a little bit here, just one stitch. See now right there, I got two. So I don't want to release that just yet. I want to, because it's easy to do it here. I'm a little time consuming. I'm pushing it up and pulling the work underneath and sliding it back down. Okay, I grabbed it that time. And remove the bar. Put the work back on the machine. Put the needles back on the needles. Push the work back in. Load the carriage up. Now when I get this flip, that's when it'll be done. So this is my fourth row. And I'll pull it off and I'll show you. Now can you see the little bit of a garter stitch go on here? Now what I'm gonna do at this point because I only needed a total of four rows. And so I'm going to put it back on here, and then I'm going to cast off, and that I'm going to do it on camera. But that's all I do for the, how I use the homemade garter bar. See, now I can't flip that on there, because I didn't transfer did I do not like that? Let's see. I guess I twisted a couple times. But I'm in my last row, so it's not. Basically, stitch, knit a row, move the work to the one of the garter bars, flip it, move it to the other garter bar. Move it back to the machine, stitch a row, and that is one part of stitch row, which is actually two knits rows. Okay, I hope you enjoy. If you get a chance to have a garter bar, have fun with it.